Hey guys, take a look at the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your phone if you're not receiving any text whatsoever on your iPhone. Now, this is going to be a troubleshooting step if you are receiving text or receiving some text. Maybe you're not getting it from Android, but you're getting it from iPhone. We're going to walk you through all the steps that you need to follow in order to fix that issue. So let's get started. So whenever you have this issue, the quickest thing you want to try to do is pull down the top menu here, put your phone in airplane mode for a brief moment, and turn it back off just like that. And what it does is a quick network refresh like your cellular data, cellular connection, and your Wi-Fi connection as well. And hopefully now your text is working. Now, if it's not working, the next thing you want to do with your iPhone is a force restart. So in order to do a force restart, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold this side button until the screen goes completely black. And then you'll let go of that button once you see the Apple logo reappear. So in real time, press volume up, volume down and then I hold the side button just like that I'm gonna keep on holding until the screen goes completely black and then I will let go of that button again if you activate a Siri that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough and what this is doing is shutting down the phone completely and then as you see the Apple logo I let go of that button and restarting it and reloading the code so if it's a software related issue it should fix that for you and also if you put a new SIM card or activate your phone for the first time it will and it's gonna say welcome to your iPhone get something like that now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all your photos videos apps will still be there you don't have to worry about that now the next thing you want to do to check out your phones is that you're gonna go into your setting of your iPhone and then look for the messages settings itself under the messages setting couple things you want to ensure here first thing is that iMessage is turned on if it's not turned on for you so you're going to want to turn that on and once you turn it on you want to see here where it says receive send and receive here so you're going to click on that so i'm going to click on that just give me a sec once you click on it, it should show up the numbers that your messages to come through make sure that number is correct use your app id for iMessage you also want to click on that option as well but those are the options that you want to follow so make sure that send and receive has your apple id and the phone number that you're using to get messages really important that is on now the other settings that you want to look under here is under sms and mms you want to ensure these two settings are on which is mms messaging so that you can get you know, photos videos and such from android devices and then group messaging as well you want to turn that on and lastly if the the other setting you want to check out is your messages filtering. This one should be turned off by default, so make sure that it is turned off so that messages that aren't recognized by your phone doesn't go into a separate list where you don't see them. So keep that on and these two settings on. Now, after you have done that, it's time to see if there's a soft carrier update for your iPhone. So in order to check that is that you're going to be in your settings, you know, general, and then about. And now what will happen is if there is a carrier update for your iPhone, it will pop up right here and you'll say click on update now if it doesn't pop up that means your carrier setting is already up to date you can move on to the next step in terms of troubleshooting the next step on troubleshooting is under settings here we're going to be in general and ensure that your cellular data is turned on so that you can actually get iMessages and bigger text messages that have photos and videos sometimes we'll need data if you're not in a wi-fi range so ensure that is turned on now, the other thing you want to also try to turn on is your Wi-Fi calling. So if you don't have this on, turn this on. Here, example, I can't turn it on because my carrier isn't supporting it right now, but you want to enable it for your option. So make sure that is turned on as well for you so that you can get the best service on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, the next thing you want to do is this is going to be for anyone with the iPhone 13 or older that has a physical SIM card that you're using. If you're using a physical SIM card, take it to your SIM ejector tool or paper clip or whatever it is. You want to pop out the SIM card by pushing it in right there so I can pop out the SIM card. You should see in there that your SIM card is there and then reinsert it back in. And once you do that, you just, just basically have a no SIM card in and you're going to put it back in. And what it does is reinitializes your carrier setting. So if there's a carrier related issue, you know, happening with your iPhone, hopefully that is fixed. Now, again, like I mentioned, if you have an eSIM card, you won't be able to do that. So moving on to the next troubleshooting step is in your settings here. This time we're going to be in our settings again. We're going to go to general and then all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You click on that, then click on that option and then reset. So you click on reset, a menu will pop up just like that. 
And the option that you want to do is this second option where it does a network reset of the settings here. Generally, this will take about a minute or two. What this does is removes any sort of network related settings like things like saved Wi-Fi password, connected Bluetooth devices. You'll have to reconnect them again, but it's crucial to do that if you're having issues with your messages not coming through and you'll have to do that. Now, this method will not delete any of your personal data, so your photos, videos, apps will still be there, so you don't have to worry about that. And after you have done that, it's still not working, it's time to go ahead and update your phone. If there is a software update out, you'll be in your settings again. This time you're gonna general software update. And once you're in your software update, if there is update available, it'll come up here where it says download install. You're gonna to wanna to download and install that update on your iPhone. Give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for the update to happen. Make sure you're on a good, strong Wi-Fi or cellular data and your phone has at least 50% or more charge if not connected to a charger. Now, if you have done all of these and you simply aren't getting any text messages, um, first thing is to try to make calls to see if you're getting calls or receiving calls. And if you are and the text message is still the issue, it's time to contact your carrier to ensure that your account is working correctly and everything is active on your account and your carrier can further troubleshoot any related issue on their end for your account itself. So I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.